In this video, I'll be showing you guys my tweaks on how to make this into a full English tablet as well as installing the Google Play Store without having to root anything. So with that said, let's get right into it. So here we go. And we'll be back in just a bit. And we're back. Let's get started. So this is what you're going to be seeing when you get this tablet. It's going to list you a bunch of languages, including English. So select English and then select your time zone. Connect your Wi-Fi, go through their agreements and do all this stuff right here. And then select what kind of modern arrangement you want. You want the iPad or the Android type. You can just notice that there's a lot of Chinese words, a lot of Chinese apps, and a whole lot of stuff that you probably don't care about and you don't want to use. Now right down here, you may think that's a Google Play Store, but it's not. So to get started, I'll probably go ahead and uninstall all the apps that I can from the home screen. So we can just go ahead and install pretty much everything you can. For example, the Games app, you can't really uninstall it from the home screen, but there are other ways. You have the Me Live, which is a live streaming service. And once again, just uninstall everything that you see here. And that seems to be about it for now. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings, then go to the installed app section and find the game app. So there we go. It says games. Go ahead and uninstall that and we should go back now. It's gone. And now that we are done removing all the apps that we don't want, we can go ahead and clean up the video and music apps. As you can see, when you first launch them, you'll end up with this big screen and you're like, what's going on here? It's a music or video app player. Why does it have a bunch of ads? Well, this is like their iTunes over there and you can actually disable this feature completely and have them just be a regular video and music players. And in order to do that, you want to go ahead and jump to the settings, scroll down to system apps on the bottom and you'll have a list of apps including the music and video. And from here, you can go ahead and disable these features. Disable recommendations and disable online content service. And now if you go ahead and go back into the music app, you can see that there are no longer any online services, ads, or whatever. And now let's go ahead and install the Google Play Store. To get started, go ahead and open up your browser, go to Google, and search up Xiaomi Mi Pad for Google Play. Now you can click on the first link with the official Xiaomi website, but you'll have to log in in order to download the file. So you can actually go ahead and skip one more and go to the XDA developers page. On this form, you'll find a download link. You can click it and download it without having to log in. Click OK and wait for it to finish. Now, whenever you install something that is from the browser, it will ask you to give it permission. So give it permission. Click install, click open, and this is the font part. So you just want to go ahead and click start. That is the blue circle, which is now yellow, and uh, just wait for it. Once it finishes, it will start asking you to install and you just click install, but make sure you don't open any of the applications. Again, it will ask you to give it permission, give it permission, go back and then click install. And finally, the Google Play Store. And once you're here, you can actually go ahead and click done. And then you should be done, 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 and done. And one more, two, there we go. And as you can see, all the check marks are good to go. You can go ahead and press the button right down here, click OK, and it will open up the Google services. And this is where you can go ahead and put your login information and log in. Now, before attempting to log in into Google, I would recommend jumping into the settings and giving full permissions to the new Google Play services especially the Google Play Store. So jump into the installed app section and scroll down all the way to Google Play Store, scroll down, permission manager, and give it access to pretty much everything. All good, go back, and the same thing for Google Play services. And now you can go ahead and install the Google Play service installer. Now, if you're wondering, yes, that is an official app from the Xiaomi website. And now let's go ahead and restart the tablet. And after a quick restart, you can go ahead and finally log in into your Google account. And now all you have to do is to go ahead and actually replace the keyboard that is built in with a new clean Google keyboard from the Play Store. And once the finish is downloaded, you can go ahead, jump to the settings, scroll down, additional settings, language and input, current keyboard, and choose keyboards. Then you can go ahead and enable the Gboard, which is the Google keyboard, and disable the Google Pinion input, which is the Chinese keyboard. And at this point, you could say you're pretty much done. Unless you want to go ahead and install a custom launcher, such as Nova Launcher. Now, Google now does not work on this tablet. Even if you try to force the APK, it will say that it is not compatible. But on the bright side, Nova Launcher does work, and that is the popular option. And to change your default launcher, you want to jump to the settings, home screen and recent, default launcher, and select whatever launcher you want. And now we have Nova Launcher. Now at this point, if you're someone who uses Netflix, you're probably trying to install Netflix, but it's not showing up on the list, which usually means that it's not compatible or it's not allowed on this tablet. But there's a way, which is very easy. Of course, it will be APK. So, oh yeah, don't forget Google Chrome. All right, so in order to install Netflix that is not showing up on the Google Play Store, search up Netflix APK, and you can use the APK Mirror website to download the latest version. Scroll down, click download, and download again where it says download APK with the red box. Download, click OK, and open. 
and give Chrome permissions to install. And at this point, you could say that you're pretty much done. Now, if you ever end up with a weird notification that comes up down here in Chinese, you can easily jump to the settings and disable the notifications for that app, so it will never show you anything anymore. So there you go, pretty quick, pretty straightforward, pretty much hassle-free English Xiaomi Mi Pad 4. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you are interested in this tablet, I'll leave a link for it in the description below, along with a 10% coupon that is active until Black Friday with a limited use. So make sure you grab that coupon before it runs out if you're interested in this tablet. And that is pretty much it for this video, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.